Our YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can get this beautiful orange red um, glittery smoky eye with a bold red lip. I don't really know if I should call this a smoky eye it's more like a really colorful red and orange eye look that's honestly the only way I can describe it. It's the look I had in the last video that I did with my boyfriend which was the boom boo drinking challenge. If you have no idea what I'm talking about you should click on the link that's gonna pop up. All the products you use to get this look, this exact look, will be linked in the description box below. Please do support me because I do get a little bit of monies off the clicking on the links and buying. So if you ever wanna buy some makeup products and you want to support your fave, aka me, please click on the links below and shop via my links. Before we get started in today's video, please do not forget to subscribe to the Omogimar YouTube channel and join my family here on the internet. Also, do not forget to click on the notification bell so that you will always get notifications of whenever I upload a new video. But Without wasting any more of your time, let's get started in today's video. get started with the brows I know I hardly do my brows on camera but I'm doing them for you guys today I'm starting off with brushing my brows and using the brown Davis pencil to lightly fill in and create the shape for my brows and then I'm going to be using the black Davis pencil which is very very black but I'm gonna be using it only at the ends of my brows I'm gonna use it at the ends to kind of create an ombre shape then I'm going to take some concealer and take a angled brush and carve out the exact shape of how I want my brows to look like. And then I'm going to take my foundation brush and blend out the foundation and blend out the concealer. And right now I am just brushing the beginning of my brow so it looks a little bit faded so you can have that nice faded brow ombre effect that we all like now to on to the major makeup i'm putting down some concealer on my eyelid as an eyeshadow base and i'm blending that out with my flat foundation brush first shade i'm going to take is this camel brown shade from the makeup revolution iconic reloaded vitality palette and this is going to be my transition shade and my blending shade now fair warning this look involves a lot of blending the next shade I'm going to be taking is the orange shade in the same palette and that is going to go right below the first shade. Now I'm going to go back in with that first shade to blend out the top. Then we're going in with the red. This shade is called Zazu, I think, from the House of Tara Queen Amina 2 palette. And I'm taking a smaller crease brush and I'm applying that directly into my crease. Now I'm going back in with the orange shade to blend out the red. Then I'm going to go back in with the first shade we used to blend out the orange. Do you see what I mean about the blending? This look requires a lot of blending. Now I'm taking a little bit of concealer and I'm putting this down as a base for the orange shade that we're going to use. You can use an eyeshadow um, base, like there's some eyeshadow bases you could use, but I prefer using concealer because concealer allows the eyeshadow to really really pop so I put on a base of concealer and now I have the eyeshadow on my lid and then I'm going back in with that red shade to blend you know where the orange and the red meet then I'm gonna go in with the orange shade so that we don't lose any of the orange then I'm gonna go back in with that first shade so we can blend it all out Whew. now we're gonna do some liquid liner this is the Yanga Beauty liquid liner and I'm doing a really sharp and precise wing Then for mascara, I'm going to be using the Maybelline The Colossal Go Chaotic Express Mascara. I really like this mascara. It's one of my favorite from the Maybelline bunch. For my face, I'm going to be using the Black Opal True Color Perfecting Primer. And I'm going to be applying this all over my face. This is going to give me a nice glow under the foundation. Then for foundation, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Mahogany. The only problem I have with this foundation, even though it's one of my favorites, 
is application it has like a spatula sort of thing and it is so so annoying i swear honestly but i love this foundation it's one of my favorite foundations it just makes my face look really nice and smooth and flawless so i go through it even though i don't like apl applying it i just go through it and i'm using this foundation brush to blend the foundation in to my skin Next, we're going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm going to be concealing under my eyes, my chin, my the bridge of my nose, and my forehead. I'm going to be using the same brush that I used to blend my foundation to blend the concealer, because I found that doing this really makes the concealer look very natural. And because you have a little bit of that foundation left, it just kind of blends in nicely together. So I like doing this. It just makes everything look a little bit, you know, natural and nice. Before I go on to the rest of my face, I'm going to put a little bit of this MAC um, cream copper base. It's called um, Improper Copper. That's the name of the shade. And I'm going to put that where my concealer would be. Then I'm going to set under my eyes with a black opal true color ultra matte foundation powder. I'm going to make sure I do not set the cream sheen base because I want that sheen to come through. I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Dark. Then I'm going to highlight using the Candid Glow Highlight from Yanga Beauty in the shade Porkish. And I'm going to highlight my chin, the bridge of my nose, my cheekbones, which is by then me setting that cream, cream copper base. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead and also on my cupid's bow. Then to finish off the eyes, I'm going to go back in with a precise crease brush and that red shade. And I'm going to stamp it right under my eyes. Then I'm going to take a flat shader brush and that orange shade from the Makeup Revolution palette to blend out the red so it has like a nice really orange blown out look. Then I'm finishing up my eye makeup using the same mascara as I used before. For my lips, I'm going to be using the Zara lip pencil in the shade Red Vines. I think Zara makes like the best lip pencils I've ever used. The lip pencils are just so nice and smooth and creamy and pigmented. For the main lip color, I'm going to be using the Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade um, Classic. This is from Maybelline. It has the pigmentation of a lipstick, but the shine of a gloss. It's actually one of my favorite things. To finish off the entire look, I'm going to be using the Zara Loose Finishing Powder. So I said loose. Zaron finishing powder. That's what I use to finish off this look. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Do let me know what you think of this look by leaving me a comment below. Do not forget that if you're interested in purchasing or buying any of the products that I use to create this look, you can just look in the description box below. I've listed all the products and I use and I have links there. Please support me and support my channel. It helps me just make a little bit of money. So if you're interested in supporting me and supporting my channel, please shop via my links. Thank you guys so much once again for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to the Omega My YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up because it helps my channel and do not forget to be awesome. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!